Today, let's start. we are going to study about stagnation conditions. So, what is stagnation condition? In every study of uh, fluids, we often come across the term stagnation condition or stagnation state. So, it is depend as the state attained by the fluid when it is decelerated to isentropically to zero velocity. Oh, here you have to note it is isentropical. So, uh, look at this picture, picture in which the initial conditions are P1, P1, T1 or pressure is equal to P1, uh, velocity is equal to V1 and uh, temperature is equal to T1 and the final conditions or the reservoir condition is P0, T0, V0 and we are assuming that this V0 is equal to 0 or the fluid is decelerated to zero velocity and by considering the uh, energy equations that is H1 plus V1 square by 2 is a constant where H1 is the total enthalpy and V1 is the velocity of the fluid and uh, by considering second conditions that's by 2 is equal to H0 plus V0 by square 2 is equal, is equal to H1 plus V1 square by 2 where we know that V0 is equal to 0 that's we can cancel this term so H1 is equal to V1 square by 2 is equal to H0 but S0 is the total enthalpy of uh, reservoir condition. S0. So the uh, S0 is the term uh, representing the total enthalpy at the reservoir condition or the stagnation condition. And we know that H1 is equal to Cp T1. So Cp T1 plus V1 square by 2 is equal to Cp T0 or we can represent T0 that is the stagnation temperature as T1 plus V1 square 2 Cp. This is the equation representing the uh, stagnation temperature or T0 is equal to T1 plus V1 square by 2 Cp. So whatever we can say that Stagnation condition is a term defining for understanding our purpose to study a uh, compressible flow or it is the state attained by the fluid when it is decelerated isotropically to zero velocity. Thank you.